Um, so autonomy will be widespread. Um, the, you know, I think one of the most troubling questions is artificial intelligence. And I don't, I don't mean narrow AI, like uh, vehicle autonomy I would put in the narrow AI class. Um, it's narrowly trying to achieve a certain function. Um, but deep artificial intelligence, or what is sometimes called artificial general intelligence, um, where you could have AI that is much, sm much smarter than the smartest human on Earth. This, I think, uh, is a dangerous situation. Why it is dangerous? I mean, there is two views. One view is artificial intelligence will help humanity. There is another school of think of thought is artificial intelligence is a threat to hum humanity. Why is it? Well, I think it's both. You know, um, it's, it's like one way to think of it is imagine we were going to be visited. You, you, imagine you're very confident that we were going to be visited by super intelligent aliens um, in, let's say, 10 years or 20 years at the most. Super intelligent. So you think within 20 years yeah, so we have alien on Earth? <laughs> well, digital super intelligence will be like an alien. It will be like an alien. Yeah. But, but my question is, do you think there is other intelligent life outside the Earth? It seems probable. But I think this is, this is one of the great questions in physics and philosophy uh, is, uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us. I don't know. Uh, some people think I'm an alien. Not true. Not true. But <laughs> maybe we are aliens. Of course, I'd say maybe that. Maybe we I? are alien, Ellen. I mean, if you look at this part of the world, yeah. they believe that human beings are not from Earth. They came from somewhere else. Eve Maybe. and Adam came from somewhere else to Earth. So in a way, human being alien to this mm -hmm. land. Do you think we'll make contact with alien within the, the next 50 years? Well, that's a really tough one to say. Um, I mean, if there are super intelligent aliens out there, they're probably already observing us. That would seem quite likely, and we just um, are not smart enough to realize it. Um, but I can do some, some back of the envelope calculations, and um, any advanced alien civilization that, that was at all interested in populating the galaxy, um, even without, uh, without exceeding the speed of light, even if you're only moving at, say, 10 or 20 percent of the speed of light, um, you could uh, populate the entire galaxy in, let's say, 10 million years. Maybe 20 million years max. This is nothing, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Once you said you want to die on Mars, why? I, I don't, to be clear, I don't want to die on Mars. <laughs> um, but it's like, if, I mean, we're all going to die someday. And if you're going to pick some place to die, then why not Mars? Okay. You know, if, if we're born on Earth, why not die on Mars? Seems like maybe it'd be, it'd be quite exciting. But so I, I, I think, given the choice of dying on Earth or dying on Mars, I'd say, yeah, sure, I'll die on Mars. Um, but it's not some kind of Mars death wish. Um, <laughs> and, and, and if I do die on Mars, I just don't want it to be on impact. Okay. Got it. <laughs> yeah.